through real quick am i the bad guy for how i responded when my co-worker told me that the reason i got a promotion was because of my oh yeah this is good this is good all right we're in court now yeah this is this is good this this is really wild am i the bad guy for how i responded to my co-worker when my co-worker told me that the reason i got a promotion was because of my breast size Wow. You know, big big boba gets you places is all I can say. Sadly, I'm small chess gang, so I don't believe I have the liberty to really talk about this. I don't know. Am I the bad guy for how I responded when my coworker told me that the reason I got a promotion was because of my breast size? Hey y'all. <laughs> hey y'all. So, I, female 33, working in this company for three years. Oh, Ben, I'm sorry I missed that. After years of long shifts working on weekends and going extra mile, the company finally gave me a promotion. When my coworkers heard, they were confused. Some pointed out that they've been with the company longer and worked harder. I ignored their comments since they were just venting. Out of that darn Sally get a promotion when I've been working for the team for about 25,000 years. My jeez. However, there's no there's this co-worker named michael who joined us he rarely does that yesterday during lunch break and just started venting about him demotion ah michael got a demotion i see whereas uh, our protagonist got a promotion i stayed quiet till he brought up my promotion and then flat out said that the reason i got a promotion was because of my breast size i was shocked i almost dropped my cup I looked around and everyone was staring. I responded by saying, And the reason you got a demotion was because of your brain size. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Ooh. Burn. Destruction 100. Absolute destroyed. Vaporized. Vaporized. Just on a, on a nuclear level down to the atomic cell man's was absolutely wiped off the face of this planet and the reason you got a demotion was because of your brain size get godded get absolutely destroyed vehemently eviscerated uh, just just goodbye i don't know what to tell you there's nothing left of you now his face went pale and the people were laughing he was pinned beyond belief he turned around and walked out. Some of my coworkers approached me saying that Michael's reputation is ahead of him and that he's one of the best this company hired, but due to his circumstances, he couldn't focus on work and got demoted as a result. So I shouldn't imply that in so I shouldn't imply he was stupid and humiliate him in front of everybody. I asked if they were okay with what he said. They said no, but I could have ignored him or taunt him in private. Well, he was away in my apology and keeps avoiding me. I feel horrible because I'm not a mean person and I don't go out of my way to hurt others' feelings. I started to regret what I said. Am I the bad guy? <laughs> he, he was rough on luck with nothing to lose and said a pretty mean comment to everyone. Yet you're expecting her to, I don't know, talk in private about it? When you absolutely roasted and nay on her, like, you, you nay on the dude. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Are you really coming after me because I was goaded with the sauce? That I was a little quirky up in the head? Come on now, that was pretty... I just imagine she said that and just was like looking for high fives all like, Hey, that, that was pretty good, right? 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 I mean, just because Mans was like down on luck does not mean he had the right to be, to say that, so. He does not really deserve much sympathy at all. Yet, she has to somehow bite her tongue because, oh, you know, he's feeling bad. Don't go down to his level. No, I'm hitting him with the, I'm hitting him with all the sauce on this one. He's like, 
LMAO promotion, and that's why you got a demotion. <laughs> demotion, 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 brain size, L, ratio, brain size. Literally, like, what, what can I tell you? You're down on luck, and you're gonna be down on zeros. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I try, I try. Every, every, every weekend, eh? Alright, um... Not that he's awaiting your apology. Just because he says something out of pocket. I mean, come on now. You, you, you get what you receive. Like, Mans doesn't even join these type of things. He comes out of nowhere just to vent. He, he's like the Joker. This man just like, he doesn't join any of these meetings. Man's come out of nowhere, out of like the depths of the shadows, and says, It's because of your, your breast size that you got the promotion, pal. You know, it's not fair when a, when a good guy gets to, when a good guy falls on a leaf or two, that's when, that's when I get the demotion, but when your size C turned to a D plus, then that's when the woman gets the, the money here. And then she's like, brain size. But the brain size, though. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I need to stop this. I'm literally, I'm out. Alright, let's read the comments. Oh, wait, before I do that. Am I the bad guy for how I responded when my coworker told me that the reason I got a promotion was because of my breast size? I don't know. They're just a little bit professional. You could, you know what you could have done. I will look at this in an unbiased perspective. When he said that, you could have went straight to human resources and said that that was literally, like, a sexist comment and that he should be fired for it. You know? I mean, let, let's think, like, if if she were to be respectful about it, go straight to the manager of human resources said that this man said a sexual comment and get the man fired. No, but, but all she did was stoop down to his level and said a comment equally as funny. And guess what? Both of those were lies. You know that? She did not get a promotion because of her breast size, and he didn't get a demotion because of his brain size. We're both just lie, lie, lying at each other, and that's that's perfect. So don't be butthurt about it when someone says something back. What's wrong, pal? Can you dish it but you can't take it? Come on. Come on. You gotta be better than that, pal. Unfortunate, truly, truly, truly. Oh, I'm some, some little baby snowflake. I almost swallowed my whole throat there, saying that. Little, little baby snowflakes. You can't handle a comment. No, uh... Alright, here we go. Go straight to human resources and report him for sexual... That's literally what I said. That is literally what I said. No, 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 no. I was saying this as, like, an option, though. I wasn't saying it as in something you do after the fact. I was saying that if you wanted to be all legal about it, so that, you know what, I got up, I walked away, went straight to human resources, right? Not only are you getting demotion, you're getting fired. But I don't think you should do it after, like, saying, but your brain size. <laughs> I see no issue with that at all. I think you should just be like, no, you're not going to apology, man. Because we're both joking, right? And then you just, like, stare at him. It was like, because, because... Cause if you, cause if you weren't joking, then that would mean, that would mean that comment's a little sexist, don't you think? Don't you think that comment's a little sexist by any chance? You know, and then, uh, so, oh, they're both jokes. And then he just calmly laughs it off and takes the L. Go straight to human resources and report him for sexual harassment, which is actually exactly what his comment was. He was taking his own personal failings out on your physical attributes. My thing... It was like, you have big bobas, no wonder. Get ahead of the situation, do not apologize. Well, you're not really ahead of it because you made the comment that you made. So this feels like a reactive thing. You could have done what this person is saying if you didn't make the comment that, you know, egging... Not egging him on, but... Uh, uh, responding with your own means of a sly comment, a joke, a roast, a joan, if even. 
Do not apologize to him. That could be taken as an admission of guilt. I think your response is perfect. This, and he spoke in front of everybody. Why do you have to talk to him privately? Yeah, apparently their co-workers pressuring the writer to apologize are only pressuring the writer, not Mr. Sexual Harassment who stormed off. Now the bad guy, writer, you responded to a crude remark with a smart remark. His circumstances aren't really relevant, he said a really dumb thing to you, and you made him and everyone know it right, right away. And your co-workers are sort of jags too. I thought it was pretty cool at first. Huge jags. What is jags? Oh, not sure exactly what jags are, but I definitely agree. I will read and you'll find the answer is what I learned. Ah, Scott's Irish word jag, thorn, to be pricked, led to jag off. An annoying prickly Hello. person. Yo? Apologies for not being here sooner. I got caught up watching anime. You're fine, you're fine. I didn't even realize. Man, this came out of 